With the stroke of a pen today, President Barack Obama reversed the Bush administration's policy, making federal money now available for stem cell research. While some believe such research, research equates to taking a human life, others in both political parties are hopeful it will lead to a better way of life. But scientists believe these tiny cells may have the potential to help us understand and possibly cure some of our most devastating diseases and conditions. Well, you can bet that new research will give new hope to paralysis patients right here in South Florida. But there are still those who take issue with using embryonic stem cells. Local 10's Nikki Mohan has both sides of the debate tonight. From her Miami Beach apartment, quadriplegic and stem cell research advocate Sabrina uh, Cohen dreams of the promise new stem cell research holds for her and others like her with spinal cord injuries. Still, she realizes the research is preliminary. You expect a cure in your lifetime. This may happen in five years. It may happen in a decade. It may happen in 50 years from now. Maybe not in our lifetime. But we're all fighting for the potential of what if. When President Obama lifted restrictions on funding for human embryonic stem cell research, Cohen, a fundraiser for the cause, used her specially equipped computer to share the news. She says her mission is education and doesn't expect today's events to change anyone's minds. For those that believe that an embryo is a life and a baby, we can't fight that. But the fact that there are over 400,000 leftover embryos in fertility clinics that are eventually going to be discarded and thrown away. Instead of throwing it in the trash, what we're saying is let us use it for research. Religious beliefs are often cited by many Americans That's who good. do not support embryonic stem cell research. Well, tonight, a local Catholic priest and scientist says it is his science that is making him speak out against it. It is a very sad day for the American people, for scientists, and especially for patients. With a PhD in bioethics, Father Alfred Chaffee also teaches biology at St. Thomas University. He was live on Catholic Radio speaking out to callers all evening. He says he has studied the research and is not impressed with its findings. In the best case, they don't work. In the worst case, they cause tumors. Cohen says nothing will deter her from dreaming. Because it's too soon to know. We just don't know. But we do know that there's promise. Nikki Mohan, Local 10. On the eve of Election Day, the son of a candidate running in the Deerfield mayoral race is in trouble with the law after being accused of stealing an opponent's campaign sign. Thomas Nolan was arrested early this morning after a BSO deputy caught him and three friends stealing the sign from outside a mayor.